seven o'clock, so we can go ahead and call to order our board meeting. Are there any requests to remove items from the consent agenda for discussion? Nothing for me. Nothing for me. 7A. 7A. Okay. Should I write that down? Just looking 7A. at you. Um, okay, and thank you. Okay, my verbal report tonight is just to say that it was a lovely summer here at the library, and now that we are um, well into the back to school vibe, yeah. and uh, the school year has begun, I know that we'll uh, see um, more people doing tutoring here and um, studying, and it'll be great to see it through the library filled with those folks. Um, also, I know we're all excited and looking forward to our 60th anniversary and the celebration. And I, I know that we have had a fantastic response mm -hmm. from the community. Mm -hmm. And that is really wonderful. A, a great response, not only in the form of registrations, but also sponsorships. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, speaks to the fact that people love our library and want to support our library and all of the work that the staff does here so that's really great i am looking forward to it we are really just a few weeks out we sure are yeah, yeah. um and that's really all i wanted to say tonight so i'll turn it over to tara for her director's report hey thank you Jenny. yeah you didn't do the order of items listed on the consent and oh. approval of the items could I please have a motion to approve the order of items for the regular and consent agendas? So moved. moved. Oops, sorry. You go. <laughs> so moved. Which second. 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 Wonderful. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thanks, Lyndon. Okay. Um, thank you. Um, yes, summer's on the decline, though it doesn't feel like it. It's still warm, too warm for me, actually, really. Um, on August 28th, around 5.30, a big storm went through, as I know you're all aware. It knocked out power for many people in the neighborhood. And the next day, a lot of people were here taking refuge to be cool and to charge up devices, including some of our trustees. <laughs> um, we had a wonderful experience. She was one of about 1,200 people who came in that day. Oh, that's really wonderful. Nice. I'm so oh, glad yeah. to hear that. I am too. Yeah. We, are the, we are the city center. We are. Mm -hmm. We are. Well, I think it's also good that you're hosting it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Saying we have right power. at the top of the day. Yeah. It is. It's great. Good. Good. Yes. Um, very crowded in here. Um, a lot of people got to know the new study room reservation system mm, yeah. uh, during that time. <laughs> and um, I and everything went just fine. Now, and when you had that big a crowd, do you open the community room so that they did? Can, okay, good. Yep. So they can sit there and charge and all. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yep. And we were we were almost about as busy on Thursday as well, so that really lasted for a couple of days. And uh, we did have a small flood. I think it was on that Wednesday night, wasn't it? Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did have another small flood. Um. Well, speaking of floods, I will tell you this. I didn't have this written down, but um, Joe Christopher met with the township engineers this afternoon regarding our um, drainage improvement um, project. And um, they understand the project now, and they were ready to give their approval. Um, however, they're advising us to not do the drainage detention basin to just do the sump pumps and capping off that pipe. And then when we redo our parking lot, install a retention basin under the parking lot at that time. They're saying that by digging the ditch or digging the basin, um, it would be a waste of money and we should just look forward to redoing our parking lot. So we'll have to talk more about this. Can we discuss this? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll have to talk more at the next Building and Grounds Committee meeting because it's very frustrating to Yes, but I also hope that we don't abort the plan to redo the landscaping against that wall because it's even more objectionable to me. No, but it's, there's so, a, it's so tall. Yeah, it's sort of okay. overgrown. -ish. It's really overgrown, and it's um, yeah, and I like there's just I think once we mitigate that, there won't be as much leaking because it's growing against the wall. This could be, and that's what you know if we extend the so there's little things that we probably could do to help as well. Yeah. 
So more to come on that. Good so, gracious. And, and who said this? The township? The township, mm -hmm. the township oh, engineers. The town, their, um, their engineering consulting firm, Humble Roth and Clark. And this is following the um, engineers that we were working with going over there and asking mm -hmm. for approval, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. So, so our process on that will be, okay, we'll consider that and talk to our guys and, okay. mm -hmm. You got it, yep. So, so it wasn't an emphatic no, they said to think about that. They said they would approve it. Oh, okay. If we want to. Oh. They were just advising that gotcha. it would be okay. money. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. She said they'll need to grow. Mm -hmm. After, or at the last board meeting, Keith had asked a question about how eliminating fines had impacted patrons' behaviors. So I talked to Anna Polepchuk, Depart uh, Circulation Department Head, and asked her for some statistics to try to get an answer to this question. And the answer is that really there is no change in people's behavior. Um, between April and August of this year, um, the return rate was 99.76%. So she found, she calculated that by getting the number of checkouts, the number of check-ins for that time period and comparing those two. For, in 2023, for the same time period, the return rate was 99.86. Mm. So slightly higher. Yeah. But the renewal rate for that time period in 2024 was 79%, and the renewal rate in 2023 was 74%. So slightly higher renewal rate might lead to fewer check-ins. Um, so it's, it's going fine. Everything is fine. And I still really strongly believe that staff would know if there were some problems. You know, when you're a librarian and you have a collection that you are responsible for, you really get to know that collection. You know where the problems are, you know um, what books the schools have to read every year and they won't come back. You, you would know if there's sure. a problem. And CERC staff would too. So I feel like everything's just fine. Okay. One other question about that time frame. Um, do we know how much revenue was collected in that time frame for the less than one percent that was overdue like the the lost or misplaced item are you talking about once that like, how many like how many weeks can they keep the book out now before they're charged uh, is it three times it so it's nine weeks I'm oh, I'm talking weeks. about lost yeah. oh, revenue gotcha. okay. that we collect so oh, not I for I not yes. returned books um, so you're talking about like capturing, damage. I'm talking about capturing, like what, if we, you know, are within a 0.1% of returns, so we're saying we haven't really changed any behavior, but we've actually lost some revenue of people that were paid, would have paid fines. Would have paid fines in that time frame. Mm, no, we didn't calculate that. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I think this is so exceptional anyway. What it says to me is that we just have a public that also takes care of the collection mm -hmm. and is adult, at least responsible and returns their things. Yeah, also maybe fines weren't really a motivator for people. Probably not. They're still returning things. They were returning them anyway. Yeah. That's great. Um, I wanted to share some staffing news because there have been a lot of staffing changes um, in the last couple of weeks. Um, we have a new 20-hour youth services librarian, Liat Rothfeld. She was hired to fill a vacancy left by Amanda Carroll, who became a full-time librarian. Her name again is Liat? Liat. Liat, okay. Mm -hmm. um, we have a new adult and teen services librarian, um, Maya Morgan. She filled a vacancy left by Emily Benoit of Podcast. Mm -hmm. Oh. She has um, got a full-time job at Oakland University. She left. Mm -hmm. We hired Maya Morgan to replace her. Um, she's starting next week. Um, our One of our longtime IT personnel, Angelo Ortiz, resigned at the end of August. So we have that posting up. Uh, that's a 20-hour IT assistant position. And Youth Services recently hired three new sub-librarians. They just had this run of all these sub-librarians who decided that they wanted to retire. So we've hired three new folks for those positions, um, including one person who is a media specialist at 
one of the middle schools, I think, middle school or an elementary school in Bloomfield Hills. And Jen has gotten to know her very well through their school liaison program. And a, a while ago, this person mentioned, um, hey, if you ever have any sub positions, I'd be interested. And so now wow. she's on the staff. So that's her. a really nice link. She's still a media specialist. Um, and it'll be great for the kids to see her here too. Yeah. Sure. Um, and all of that happening as we're still trying to get used to that new HR software. So it's been, um, talk about a carnival themed yeah. uh, activity. Has, has it been helpful just uh, the learn, it's learning curve? If you're just the learning about. curve, yeah. Yeah, the Good. software is fine, but their learning curve and everyone has their role and all the rules are now topsy-turvy. So we're like, wait, were you doing that? Are you doing this? When is this happening? That's great. I know. It is. Tell us so we can say applause, applause, and it's really, truly the carnival. <laughs> um, in RFP news, uh, we currently have out an RFP for upgrades to the library's video surveillance system that went up on September 12th. Um, thanks to Catherine for learning how to use BidNet Direct. BidNet Direct is an online portal used by government agencies to publish, distribute, and award contracts. So we're using that now to uh, post our RFP, which oh, is a big change cool. for us. Yeah. Um, they had a very extensive training program. Uh, it seems very easy to use. It's free for us to use. I think, do vendors have to pay a subscription? Nope, there's a free option for vendors to use as well. So we're excited. Our, our proposals will get, our RFPs will get um, some good exposure, and I think it'll make the process a little bit better. Um, we plan to bring a recommended vendor to you at the December board meeting. We're going to take our time uh, selecting this vendor it's going to be a lot of work and um we've for those video surveillance yep okay. and we hope to start that project early 2025. and then um catherine and i well really catherine is drafting an rfp for spaces or interior design uh, we'll be putting that out in october so uh, we'll keep you updated on that we've also been learning about the new changes in the michigan laws affecting minimum wage and paid sick leave um, Library of Michigan did a nice webinar that uh, Catherine and Monica and I all watched. Um, I watched that one that you sent me, Shane, that was helpful. We're talking to the township, even though our policies, our employment handbooks are completely separate from the townships, we do have that overlap in payroll and um, benefits. And it's just a good resource and a good networking um, relationship to share information with them. So sure. we're working on that. It's good timing with the comp to class study too because we're kind of rolling those changes into um, the changes that are proposed through that. And then the last thing to share is that um, the library has signed up with Innovative, who is our ILS vendor, to beta test SMS text message notices for circulation notices. What's ILS? Um, that's the, um, the software that runs the library. Basically, it's our catalog. Um, patron database, that's where all the um, book circulation, yes. circulation, Our management yeah, cataloging, system yeah, yeah. Um, yes. yes, text messaging notices have not been available to us. We have email, obviously, um, but they haven't had text messages, so they were looking for beta test partners, and we raised our hand because we've been wanting to offer text messages for a while. Um, so we'll be starting with just using staff to test that, and then we'll roll it out to VIPs like you all, <laughs> um, the ambassadors and friends. Get that book back. <laughs> <laughs> Help, it's floating. <laughs> and then we have a group of patrons that we know would like test me text message notices, so we'll ask them to test as well, and then roll it out for real um, December 1st, thereabout. And we'll do some marketing about it. Some point. But basically, it'll just be another option that patrons have for receiving their notes. So, with text messaging, is this is this actually a person typing it in, or are they putting something no, in the like computer? Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. So the text will all be the same. Just maybe use the person's name. They'll be able to like say Judy. Hey, it'll be like your email notice about returning a book. Oh, it's all, all about it. circulation. Gotcha. Yeah, it'll. Okay. So right now, there's just hold pickup notice. Okay. Okay. That'll be from Tara. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hold pickup notice, hold cancellation notice, and I can't remember what the third one okay. is. But eventually, there would be the overdue notices. No, that is one of the notices. Is overdue, and then the courtesy notices would come. Okay. Yeah. 
but be very limited. I'll just say and like, you can opt out if you didn't want. Yeah, it. right. Okay, gotcha. Actually, you'll have to opt in. So, oh, if you don't want it, okay. okay. But then there's a financial benefit. Sure. Thank you. Yes, there is a financial benefit because um, Innovative will they charge a five thousand dollar implementation fee, but they will not charge us that since we're beta testing. Oh, good. That is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a fee yep. for the service going forward. But Very nice. nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Someone's on the ball. That's all I have to report. It was a lot. Mm -hmm. Good thing we didn't have a full agenda, right? <laughs> right. Oh, uh, can I have a motion to approve the remaining consent agenda items? So moved. And a second? <laughs> a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. <laughs> Um, well, it is time for our call to the public. And <laughs> there he is. Whoa. Well, we have yeah, from our SOC, we have Tom here to yes. talk a little bit about all things SOC. Yeah, what well, this is actually let's see, end of August we oh jeez. We did bingo. Um, oh, great. we had two Sorry. winners from bingo. Actually we had three because we had two people that won together at the very end. Uh, we're doing cider and donuts on Thursday this week. Oh, fun. From Franklin Cider? Yep. Excellent. Yeah. That's great. Uh, and we got a couple of small things coming up. We're going to be doing a, um, a craft sale, I think. Um, oh, you know, nice. Probably December. Mm -hmm. Not sure exact time on that yet. Okay. We are going to probably, we're still planning on doing a staff lunch next spring. Nice. Yes. Very nice. That's so. great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Great, thank you so much. Yep. Oh, I don't think we have any unfinished business. Mm -hmm. And do we have um, any new business or is there, does anyone, any, anybody have anything to bring up for new business? <laughs> Thinking? Do we want to talk about the anniversary? Or, um, well, we have a meeting on the 18th. I will say that, um, okay, I'll just talk very briefly. We okay. met with Holly who is the Chartwell's representative, and yeah. she has just been amazing. She's been she great. is so creative, and she came, um, Catherine, um, Tara, and I met with her, and who is her assistant? Rebecca? Re uh, Rebecca. Do you remember her name? Was it Rebecca? Um, Holly, will, Holly was thrilled that she could come the day before to unload, and she's thrilled about the community room, because I've seen some of the rooms, and they're like the uh -huh. size of a closet. Um, so that will be very helpful, particularly with all the crowds we're having. And then they'll park in a space that they can go back and forth to the truck. Um, but uh, she's been helpful in finding um, bunting, and um, we're doing placemats with games, and we'll have crayons in a little container. And um, you know, her menu selection's been great, and the, the, um, the, the way she's presenting them is amazing. And she's going to brand them yeah. for us and use yeah. the graphics that we've been using. And she's not charging us that I could see for the work that she's put into finding yeah. these things. So, yeah, um, and because she's with Cranbrook and I know her, um, we don't even have to pay until the night of. So that was very nice. Yeah, there's been no down deposit or anything. And, um, but she's, I ran into her just the other day. She's so excited because oh, she's great. really, you know, we've let her, we've let her sort of steer the ship the way that mm -hmm. she would like to design it. So, um, and then we have over 500 people. Yeah, do you have a recent count? We have 490 people registered. Oh. We do have, uh, we are accounting for 500 attendees, but we will register up to 550 because there's always around 10% right. that sure. aren't able to come at the last minute for sure. some reason. So that will still hopefully give us a full 500 attendees the night of the wow. event. I think the graphics look oh, so beautiful. amazing. Amber just Rose. Beautiful. Yeah. It's all yeah. Amber Rose. They yeah. just they pop yeah. there. It looks amazing. Have you seen the show the showcases, the um the cases that they did in the um what are the cases that they did the well, archival history area? Yeah. Beautiful. Over in adult oh, services. You yeah. have to go look. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. So yeah, we um I found some gift funding to supplement our budget a little bit and we've got we the sponsorships have rolled in in the last couple days as well mm -hmm. so we are able to add um, some more food we added another balloon artist and another face painter um, and yeah we've had just outstanding yeah. uh, reaction to this event yeah it should be a lot of fun I, oh not should it will oh yeah it will of the 490 how many are just members of the community not affiliated with anybody we know 
Oh, the vast majority. Oh, yeah. yeah. What a testament that is to oh, us. Yeah. It's like the importance of this library right. and the community. How wonderful is that? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's really wonderful. Saturday afternoon. I know. When you know people could be doing anything, I think it's really cool. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And I love that it's family friendly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah. So our committee meets Thursday, and we'll review all the um, the floor plan and the list of staff who are going to be assisting and any jobs and tasks that need handling. And we all have to wear our carnival outfits, you know, very colorful. The ones we have at home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go into your carnival <laughs> closet. <laughs> Look at what it is. Or raid your son's closet. Raid your son's closet. He might have something that he left. But I think it would just be great. Yeah, I think so too. It's going to be fun. Anything else? No. Okay. Um, all right. Well, let's discuss the items removed from our consent agenda. And um, we all cast our eyes. Where is that? Is that? Um, so it's seven A. So that would be uh, twelve, 12? Or forty-four. Okay. Yes. So we did a prepay on the UPS United you know, States Post Service of eleven grand. Mm -hmm. What is that? Okay. It's it's a bulk uh, postage account. So we deposit money into it, and then our printer drops off the po um, the newsletters. And then they send them out. So the money is already there. And the, when the newsletters arrive, then they're ready to go. Okay. On the next page, the Financial Times, 1921. Is that like an annual? What, what is that? Yeah, that's an annual subscription. Is that for digital them. only, or is that the paper copy? Too? No, that's the electronic resource. Wow. So that stuff is expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. It's, a good, it's good, though. I mean I, I mean, I read it when I'm in Europe, but here, mm -hmm. not so much. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's not one that's lumped into another group no we just pay for that one direct like a yeah. press reader e correct yeah um if you keep going to uh page 15 and 44 there's and i i'm sure i should know this but i just can't remember there's something called fnbo that's the credit card um it's it's our company credit card it's through flagstar but it's now administered by fnbo it's like first national bank of omaha or something which is the employee cards. Mm -hmm. We talked about that in yep. the prior meeting, okay. And then Avalon Technology, 77,000. That is the expenditure that you all approved at the last meeting for those servers, the new servers. Oh, good. Which you'll see tonight on the tour. Oh, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> and the last one I had a question about, the last one, yeah, is uh, Diamante Concrete, 10470. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a bunch of concrete work done around the campus. Um, curbs, curbs fixed. We had a, a curb cut made where employees tend to walk to make it more accessible. We had like whole sections of the sidewalk fixed. We put a couple of pads in where they were needed, where there was like garbage cans just sitting on dirt mounds. So just a whole bunch of concrete work that needed to be done. Great, thank you. When did they do that? Was it a one day project? No, it took them like what three or four days? Yes. Yeah, it was two weeks ago when they finished. Oh, was it? Okay, gotcha. Uh, anything else on 7A? No, but I have a question. So we had talked about going electronically or electronic with our check process, check writing process. Mm. When is that going to take place? No, whenever me and Monica get to it. Okay, because we have to, we're gonna have to write a, a policy. Oh, that's right. That's how that's where I heard about it. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because of like the timing of it or where the, how it's processed? For, you mean the policy? Yeah. Why we have to have the policy, I, I don't know exactly now. I think it's just because it's dealing with money mm -hmm. and it has to be you all approving this way of New distributing processing. funds. Yep, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. The one thing I did discover at that meeting was um, if you, I mean, I'm rarely on the website. Um, it's not that I just am not on the computer that often, but everything's there. So the policies and procedures are there. Everything that you want to find, you just have to look for it. You have to know what to, what you're looking for. But um, it's quite amazing. It, it truly is what you can find. And that prompts me to ask, um, you know, people, I, people read what they want to read. And so there are a lot of people who may not even know, and they're returning the books because they don't realize that there's it's free now. That's true. So when you yeah. have 90, that large of a percentage, there has to be a number of people who are just, don't know, and they're just, it's almost like a memory muscle, you know, muscle memory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're like, okay, it's three weeks, I've got to turn it in, mm -hmm. or when I get this. So 
Um, I'm sure that, um, I think it's a great idea, but I'm sure that there are people, if they knew, they'd be like, oh, okay, so yeah. Well, and they're getting their notification that your right. book is due, and it right. doesn't say it's due, but you're not getting yeah. the charge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right, absolutely. So um, they get that, because I always think of Peggy. Um, Peggy was always said that she was the one who was paying for it all the time. Yeah, she, she did always say that. Fines, <laughs> with her overdue fines. Oh, her overdue fines were so funny. I mean, she could buy the books at that point, so. Okay. But, yeah. Um, okay, well, it is time for other. I don't know that we have any other. I had a question about the garden. So uh, when I was walking up the garden on the, the right-hand side, do, have we ever had a plant exchange and had when they thin the plants? Because there's several plants that have gotten so overgrown, it'd be kind of nice for um, the staff to bring in plants and maybe have one day where they have a plant exchange or plants that are available for them. Um, because, um, you know, when we redo over there, I think there's a couple things that they might be able to save, and if so, mm -hmm. they could go to someone here. But I just was looking at it because I've mentioned this before that things are, I mean, because of all the rain we had so earlier on, down. things are getting so overgrown that they need to be divided. Mm -hmm. And we may want to take a good look at that. And then if we don't have a place for them, don't pitch them. Offer them to the staff and to the friends and to volunteers and things. So we might have like a plant exchange day one day or something mm -hmm. like that. So yeah, okay. a Saturday, um, you know, obviously not this year, but when we start working diligently on the gardens, because one of the grasses that you have, the, the golden grass, um, that certainly could be divided because it grows yeah, so fast. Yeah. And it's actually, the one of them is covering a beautiful boulder. So. We'll talk about that. Okay. Do, do we need to have a motion to approve the items removed from the consent agenda? Yes. 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 We're just way too casual. <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. for Linda. Um, we have minutes I have to complete here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, can I please have a motion to approve any items that were re removed from the consent agenda? I'll move it. Uh, I'll second. There you go. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank Aye. you. Thank you. Um, okay. Excited. Well, we can um, adjourn. Our next scheduled meeting is Tuesday, October 15th, and our topic will be the policy review. Mm -hmm. Speaking it's going to be policies. really exciting. I'm excited about it. It yeah. is going to be exciting. I know. I'm and, oh, no, no.